everyone. Um, sorry I've been a little bit quiet on the messages. Um, I ended up organising um, something called NHS Morale Boost, which um, brought all of um, my industry colleagues together um, and we organised a thousand virtual appointments for the NHS workers in the UK. I've never done anything like this before and it worked um, and I'm delighted and it was really brilliant bringing everybody together so that's sort of taken up a little bit of my time. Anyway I'm back with some fresh content, it was kind of weird seeing the content that I was going to send to you before lockdown happened, it almost seemed like you know another world away. Um, anyway, um, some of you may have known about that because you follow me on Instagram and if you haven't that's why. I just wanted to apologise because I do try and uh, talk to you as much as possible because I gain lots from it as well. Um, so today I just thought I'd do a really fresh nudie makeup because that just works in times like this. Um, and is anyone else really suffering with bad eyesight? I mean I've just gone back to wearing glasses again. Uh, being short-sighted. I had them lasered years ago, which is the best thing I've ever done. If you're considering it and you're able to, definitely don't think any further, obviously, now but in the future. Um, but I just think because I literally spent three weeks on a computer, pretty much 10 hours a day, um, I literally feel like I've got oil over my eyes. Anyone else experiencing that? Having to stare at screens and all the video conferencing? Anyway. Um, I'm going to start with a lovely primer and this is by Mats Factor. Now this one is a 3-in-1 beauty protector. Um, I really like this because it gives my skin a glow, it's really hydrating and it just allows a foundation to slip on beautifully. Also it's SPF 30 and um, for an SPF 30 that is this light and milky to apply, um, I just it just brings me joy. I mean we just don't need to have heavy white casts over our face anymore. And it also has blue light technology in it. Now, obviously blue light, some of you may or may not know, um, can really damage your skin. It creates um, The free radicals um, create long-term damage in your skin, um, pigmentation, fire lines, etc. over a long period of time, obviously. Um, and it actually penetrates deeper um, than UVA and UVB. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is in the product that does it. Um, and I know that using lots of antioxidants or daily antioxidants will also really help, but just check on your primer or your skincare. And if you are in front of a screen a lot, more than you used to, just make sure it's a blue screen um, protector as well. Blue light, sorry, a blue light protector as well. And if any of you do know more about this technology, I'm just curious um, as to what it is that stops the blue light. I understand about UVA and UVB and SPF, not really clear on that so um, I can find out more about it obviously but you know you guys are also very well informed so be interesting. Next I'm going to start with my Shiseido Synchro Glow. This again is a super easy foundation to apply and I'm going to rub it in my fingers and I've just started just doing this recently because my skin probably much like yours if you're staying in all the time is just dry and I'm just finding this kind of like patting movement for my foundation is just working better for me because I feel that every time I pat the foundation into my skin it actually sits in the pores a lot better and kind of is more effective rather than just doing you know all the time which of course I will do just to blend it out but the initial penetration of the product onto my skin I just prefer to pat it but I don't know whether that's because I'm doing a little bit more facial massage and just trying to take a little bit of time just to kind of boost my skin because um, for those of you who know me well that if my skin feels you know hydrated and good then I can you know feel like I can get on with my day as silly as that sounds but um, that's just my Achilles heel because I've suffered with my skin for so many years. Um, so Max Factor were really really supportive in my NHS morale boost um, and they didn't want anything back from it they didn't want to sell makeup they didn't want to you know, talk the brand to be mentioned. They just wanted to know that they had my back and they wanted to help the NHS in the way that they can. And the three girls from the PR office, Jodie, Liberty and Amy, really helped me set up the system for creating all the Zoom links to speak to the 1,000 experts. We did 100 appointments a day for 10 days. And so we managed to cover 1,000. Obviously, that's only a tiny bit of what is needed, but we maybe we're doing some group ones um, to cover more people more quickly but just having a little mini break for now. And so 
Matt Spector said, right, let's just get your best products together, the ones that you love, and we'll create a little bundle. So if you follow the link in the description box, if you wish, of course, um, you can get the products that I love from Matt Spector to create this look. Not all of them, but just there's a few, there's five in total. Then you can click the link and you go straight to Amazon and you can buy it in one little bundle. I am, just for clarification, UK ambassador for Matt Spector. I have been for about 12, 13 years now, which I begin to lose count. Um, and so, yes, you know that I love the brand. And fortunately, because they are very clever at Matt Spector, they just say you must only promote the products that you like for you and your um, followers. So here they are. Um, First of all, um, so we use the primer, we use the base, I'm trying to get through now. I'm going to go in with my cheeks next and as you guys know, it's going to be soft copper. I say that as you guys know. For those of you who don't know or are new to the channel, I'm, oh yay, we're over 50,000 now, whoop whoop, doo, doo. thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's taken a long time to grow but you know what, I'm really happy with that because I've just got such a wonderful, solid group of people following me and let me tell you when I read your messages it's very much the same as a two-way interaction I learn from you guys as well and maybe it's just what you need or what you want or what you're struggling with which which helps me deliver content that you know you want to watch so anyway I love this shade and this formula because it's really soft and creamy there's nothing sparkly in it it's pure pigment it lasts, it looks glowy on the skin, I don't need to powder it. And for me, on my skin colour, um, it just adds a little bit of warmth and definition. So if I'm going for a red lip or a smoky eye or something just very nudey, as today's makeup will be, um, then this just works. Um, there's this one, and this is called Soft Copper, and there's another one called Soft Pink, which gives me a healthy glow, but this is fabulous and it's teeny, teeny weeny, easy in the kit. So that's one of my favourite blushes and I know a lot of my makeup artist friends also like it. Next coming up is the lovely Universal Highlighter. Um, now this comes in a little wand like this which you can turn off and on to stop the product leaking which I think is brilliant. Um, and just a little gentle squeeze and it creates such a lovely highlight whew, along the skin there. Now I normally just do the areas that I want to enhance, so just to kind of soften the lines on my forehead, I'll just do it on the front panel and when my skin tends to be a little bit dry, that just gives me a nice kick of light. And then just tap it over my cheekbones. And what I might do is just add a little bit of this, like this, um, throughout the day if my skin starts to dry out, which it does. It's also quite nice just underneath the brow bone like that, just to kind of give that sort of 3D effect. And what I love about this one, and it says universal, is that it's just a lovely, bright champagne highlighter. Um, I do talk about this quite a lot. I can't bear yellowy highlighters. I can't bear anything that is um, looks too fake or face painty. This just kind of creates that lovely glow on the skin um, that just makes it look fresh and hydrated when perhaps it's maybe not. Beauty secrets, that's what they're all about. Um, I've done my brows just because I'm so bored of my brows, gosh. I, I mean, I say that just because they need a little bit of time to work and it really wasn't part of my tutorial today because I just wanted to keep it nice and simple. But this um, is just something about encapsulating all the same shades because the lip colour I'm going to use is also very similar to this. This is Nude Glory and it's just a lovely balm on the lips. And again, you don't want anything too sticky, you don't want anything too full maintenance, do you? You just want to make yourself look pulled together and I often use this analogy of the white company you know when you walk into the white company um, and it's all whites and greys and crystals and it's just all tonal and beautiful and pretty much this is what this makeup is about um, just having the same colours so take away any pinks take away any kind of rosy colours and it just kind of uniforms everything and uh, yes I'm a bit busier at the background this time because I've got my kit out because I'm not going to work and God knows when I'm going to go back to work. Yes, I don't really know. But at least I have a social following where I can still chat so I've got all my bits and bobs out and I've put a few plants in here now because I didn't used to spend a huge amount of time in here and now I am. Right, um, Marie Antoinette, Charlotte Tilbury, Eyes to Mesmerise. Now this is a really lovely, creamy 
eyeshadow. You know I love creams because I love the ease of them. And I'm going to use a concealer brush by Beauty Pie. It doesn't have a number, it's just called Finishing Concealer. Um, and it's just nice to put on with a concealer brush um, because it's less fluffy. And again, I love this shade because it's not too bronzy and not too yellowy gold. I don't know why I've got such a thing about yellowy gold. I love it on Indian um, skins. I love it on black skins. Um, even sort of, I suppose, olivey skins too, um, because obviously it's more complimentary. I think maybe just because I've got blonde hair, the gold tends to pick up and it just it's just not my cup of tea, really. Um, but that's just personal preference. We all like different things. I suppose it feels a bit more makeup-y, whereas this kind of blends with my skin tone. It's such a beautiful shade. Um, and I'm going to pop this. Mostly, I've just been using the makeup just on top of my eye like this and making sure that I'm pushing back these sockets here. And I just use the flat of the brush. I mean, literally, it couldn't be easier. And these are nice and creamy and you get lots of playtime. I might just use the tip of this brush, and that's great where you use a concealer brush, just to add a little bit of soft definition underneath. Just for like a little shadow, nothing that's too liney or hard, but just to kind of amplify my eyes, because I'm going to use mascara on the top and bottom to create a wider eye effect. If I'm feeling really sleepy and I need a bit of a whoop whoop, I kind of use a pinky blush and just put mascara on the top, but um, I don't feel too bad today. God, it's a roller coaster, isn't it? It's a roller coaster of emotions, but every time I start to get a bit wobbly, I just think about what's important and that we're all, my family, luckily, and friends are all well and good. So, effortless and just that nice soft sheen that doesn't kind of um, age my skin. Um, it's a very beautiful finish. Right, nice full fat lashes. Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara, award-winning mascara, brilliant formula, goes on really easy. Um, I mean, you look it up online and it's a, a very celebrated mascara. Max Factor do do mascaras incredibly well. And if you want a bit of a lift and you're not shy of big fat lashes, then False Lash Effect by Max Factor will be one for you to choose. Now I always do a couple of coats, one for the lashes and then one for the mascara because if you just do one coat, the mascara almost needs to build up on itself to kind of get that volume. And then another little dip and I'm just gonna use the tip backwards and forwards to catch the lash and then to bring it down in place. And that does the job. just nice to have a few key products that you know work and then you can just interchange them. I was so lucky getting my hair done literally the day before lockdown but it's, it's coming through now. It's funny isn't it seeing everyone with their new hair growth coming through. Um, might just add a little bit more highlighter, why not? Just on there just to catch a little bit more. It's really nice, that's it, it's just really nice packaging this and it's just really great that I can turn it off as well because there are some other brands that have um, this type of packaging and it goes everywhere. Just remember to turn it, obviously. Um, and last but not least, we're going in with Nude Glory. Now this is just an absolute classic. It's comfortable, it's hydrating, and it's, for me, a really lovely shade. So just a little squidge. And you know when you want to wear a nude, but you don't want it to drain your skin. This is a lovely warm nude, which kind of just adds a little bit of warmth to your makeup, but it doesn't, um, doesn't drain you. And that's why it's nice to have it kind of sheer. Now my lips are quite pale. If you have a lot of color in your lips, then you might want to put a little bit of foundation just over the top. So when you put it on, you get a nice soft finish. So you can see that it's just really soft, it's hydrating, and I just use the applicator. I've no need to use a, a lip brush because that works perfectly well. And I just take it literally just very gently over my top lip. And I have to be careful because there's a few lines coming in between my lips. And I don't want it to travel. 
but because it's a balm it's quite nice because it does amplify the shape of my lips making them look a little bit prettier and bigger um, but it stays put it doesn't slide like a gloss and it feels lovely and fresh so there you go just a nice simple tonal makeup which I hope you'll enjoy using and just get your makeup bags out if you've got a second and just kind of categorize them maybe you just put your pinks together or your reds or maybe just do a color section and then do a nudie section and it's just quite nice a bit like interior design isn't it just kind of like placing everything in sets of tone um, because it does make a complete difference once you've got a nice even skin tone then everything else is decoration so if you want to get the max factor bundle you can just follow the quick link at the bottom that will take you through and all the other products are listed below and um, stay safe and I will be responding to many more messages this time. Thank you so much for your patience. Take care girls. Bye and guys and guys and guys. I know you're there. <laughs>